Right, it's just going to be a short video, but it's about how I sterilise the water tanks. Um, I've been doing this for a little while, and I've always used this stuff, Pure, PuriClean. Uh, it's a powder, and uh, it's got the instructions on the back. And I'm just going to follow the instructions. So the first thing is dissolve the amount of PuriClean required uh, in, uh, in water, so a plastic container is ideal. Well, I haven't got a plastic container, but I'm going to use a little measuring jug. I don't know how much is in there. So I'll go for that first. And right, the instructions say one teaspoon per gallon, so here we go. One, two, three, So that's 20 uh, teaspoons in, in there. I've got it in a one litre container. I'm just going to add hot water because I think it dissolves a little bit quicker. A little bit lumpy in there. I'm just going to give a little bit more of a stir. It's quite a thick mixture, really. I really don't want to spill this anywhere, either. Probably a spoon will come out with. No, that's alright. Right. Next thing is find where your water tank is. I right, know mine. Is under this little hatch in the bedroom. I'll pull that off. We've got a screw cap here. Take that off, and I'm just going to pour the mixture in there. It looks actually quite clean in there, so trying to be careful here, one handed. Also worth mentioning I've started with an empty tank here so if you have emptied the tank make sure all your drain taps are closed otherwise it will ju it'll just be pouring it through the tank and it won't actually do anything I'm not going to worry about the rest of that so uh, now I'm just going to fill up the tank uh, with the hose pipe and uh, then I'm going to leave it overnight um, that's basically it and I'll come back in the morning and uh, rinse it through a few times so I'll catch up with you later Right, so it's filling up, and I'm going to leave the tap off, I'll leave the cap off rather, I'll leave this cap off, uh, so I can just watch it filling up so I know roughly when to switch the, the tap off. But the other thing you've got to do is run it through the taps, make sure it's actually in the pipes uh, once it's filled up. So I'm going to watch that for a bit, and then will open some of the taps and get some of the the solution into into the taps. Right, it's start it's starting to get there, so I'm just going to open some of the taps. I've got the pump on. There we go. And it through there. Do the same in the bathroom. Getting filled up. Don't waste too much of it. And then still a bit to go in the hot tank. I'll leave that for a minute. Come back in a bit when once the boiler's filled up. Hot tap there is getting full, full up, so that's all right. So I now got the solution in the hot water. Check the bathroom. Should there it goes. I'll do the same for the shower. So, hot water, hot, hot water, so I now know that I've got the solution inside the, the uh, taps as well. So I'm now starting to pan it because it's getting full, getting there. I'm going to watch it for a little bit longer. Yeah, it's not the way to go yet. But 
least I've got a good solution in the, in the taps now. That's important obviously because that's where your water comes through. Right, it's getting towards full now. So I'm just going to put the cap back on and watch the level on the indicator board. Let's have a look. Yes, that will do. I'm going to switch the hose off. I know it's full now because it started coming out of the overflow pipe at the back of the van, but that's okay. Of course, the other thing I need to do is the aqua roll. That's only 40 litres, or just under nine gallons. The solution in there. I'm struggling with uh, one hand now, so um, I'm just going to fill up the tap. That's it for now. Um, I'm gonna uh, come back tomorrow morning and we'll drain it down and we'll flush it through. So I'll show you that. I'll rinse it out about three times. Right, it's the following day, uh, so I've just got to empty out the, um, the the solution out of the tank. So I'm just going to drain the tanks as per normal. So I'm going to open the drain the drain taps, let solution out, and then I'm going to give uh, give it a good flushing through. Empty the boiler. So you can hear the pump going. I really need the pump on, so I'm just going to switch that off. I'll open up the taps. Put them in the mid position as you do when we're doing a drain down. Same with the bathroom and the shower. Put the aqua roll away and put it in this bag. Right, the aqua roll. To be honest, there's a bit of a pain to cart around. Actually, lives in this locker just up the front here, and uh, it's a bit of a squeeze to get it in. So I'm not sure I can do this one-handed. You have to lift that. Oh, got it. In. There you go. Oh, and it's in. Walking boots, anything else I can find. Aqua roll thing, plastic. That's it. It's amazing how much you can get in these little lockers. There we go. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, it's getting there. You can see there's traces of the stuff at the bottom of the tank, so it's going to need a good flushing through. Just like a sediment, really. Right. Just waiting for the van to, to drain down, so here's a completely gratuitous shot of Poppy. It's going to take me about, take about an hour for it to drain down, Poppy. It's going to take an hour. So you're going to sit with me for an hour? No, you're going to have a sniff around. No, you want to get down. Right. See you then. Uh oh, looks like it's that time of year. They all look alright, don't they? It all looks wonderful to me. I'm just begin to flush it through again. Remember to turn the taps off again. Close the drain tap. Tap. Taps. Taps. And they're going to let it fill up. And then I'm going to drain it out. This shouldn't take too long. You do that three times is probably a bit overkill, but best be safe than sorry. I thought I'd just cover why you, you, we go to all this trouble of sterilising the tank and why it's important. Well, it's actually 
on the pure clean uh, instructions. It says water stored in a tank is exposed to the ideal environment to accumulate dirt, stains, bacteria and algae. Bacteria excretes a slimy biofilm which attaches them to the inner surface of the tank and throughout the water system. Bacterial growth will infect the stored water. Biofilms are difficult to remove and require special formula PuraClean to remove biofilms, eradicate bacteria and cleanse the complete system. So this PuraClean will clean stainless steel and will not harm any components. PuraClean will remove stains and clean many domestic items. Okay, it's also worth pointing out that you really shouldn't use certain other um, uh, deter not deter not detergents, um, cleaners uh, on the stainless tank that you, your boiler uh, contains that could do it irreparable damage. And uh, that is an expensive bit of kit. So possibly well in my opinion it's probably worth spending a bit of extra to do it properly. There. Anyway, here yeah, end, endeth the lecture. Put up the tank with fresh water, uh, so all that remains now is to get it run through the tap. So switch the pump on. Let that start coming through because you want fresh water in the in the pipes as well to get rid of the uh, the solution that's in the pipes. Right, there goes the hot water running through. I'm going to let that run through for a bit, just clear out the boiler so... There we go. That's the hot and cold and the water running through. Okay, I'm just going to let that run for a bit. It's also worth noting I'm going to have a little bit of uh, uh, solution in the waste tank as well, so I mustn't forget to empty the waste tank when I'm finished. Right, I think that's enough. Go up to the um, the boiler again. I'm going to repeat that a couple of times so I won't film all of that but basically I think you get the idea is that uh, let the solution uh, in overnight, uh, let it out, uh, obviously you want to run it into the taps as well uh, so that the pipes get cleaned and then let it out so drain the, the van down like I've shown you and then you want to rinse it thoroughly so I'd rinse it at least two times possibly three uh, do a complete sort of flush and drain down and uh, everything should be good and it should be safe to drink the water that's it um, that's the end of the video uh, if you like what you see uh, give us a thumbs up uh, remember to, sub to subscribe uh, to see more of our videos and if you want notification of the videos remember to, to tick the little uh, bell option on there and uh, you get notifications when I upload a new video next video um, will be us going shopping. We're going to Chester Fair Oaks shopping and also we're going to do a little bit on our A-frame uh, so towing our little up so we'll take you on a little tour around that and show you how that works, what we think of it and um, hopefully um, you'll find that useful. So see you for now.